hi guys <laughs> so i went shopping and i wanted to do a little vlog a little haul about some of the products that i've purchased some of the items and products i've purchased a few days ago so i have a feel for them and whether or not i like them or not before i uh, talk about them also um some of the other objects are just repeat purchases so i've already known whether i'm gonna like it or not Okay, so I hope that's helpful in any way. Um, the other day I was in Michael's store and a lady passed me and she smelled so good and I gave her a compliment. I'm like, oh my god, it smells so good. <laughs> and she's like, oh, thank you so much. It's, um, it's this um, fragrance from Bath and Body Works. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go there. <laughs> so I just went. And they had this huge sale uh, before Christmas. I got four of their little fragrance sprays and I absolutely fell in love with all of them <laughs> so the first one I found is the one that the ladies smell like and it's called in the stars I really like how the they have this little hollow effect in the bottle <laughs> it's quite inexpensive it's about 14 just under 15 bucks the first time I smelled it and still up to this date it literally gives me tingles. I don't know how it's possible, but this is this is what my body reacts to in tingles. <laughs> how crazy. It's just smell. It's not a person. It's not like attached to any memory. At least I don't think so, maybe. But but oh my god, it gives me a warm, buzzy kind of fuzzy feeling. I cannot get over it. And it's not like a fine perfume. Sorry. It, it has some kind of warmth in it and like sparkly <laughs> I don't know it is basically it's a it's a gorgeous scent I don't know and I might even change my mind eventually because it's such a strong smell but I I fell in love with that one right away then the next one I got is magic in the air it's not a bad one I think it's my least favorite out of all of them it's on the sweeter side a little bit of um, fresher scent I guess but, but it's alright the other one is Sparkling Nights I do like this one it smells like plums and vanilla <laughs> and some kind of berry so super super um, girly the other one I like is Happy Vibes Mist it's citrusy um, citrus pear and honeysuckle and orchid it doesn't smell like perfume too much again it smells like clean flowery after shower scent <laughs> so I like that then I went to Ulta and I've purchased some of these um, products before, some I haven't, so we'll talk about that. And one of my favorite things um, from there that I forgot that I liked was this lip balm by Revlon Kiss. And it's in Sweet Cherry. And I have to say, that's all I wear right now. I've been a little bit on the craze for pinks, especially these kind of cherry pink as you can tell by my glasses <laughs> I love this one I have to say most of lip balms even most lipsticks even the expensive ones do really crack my lips eventually like I feel like after wearing them for a day the next day I can almost like peel from my lips you know levels it's so gross the only two lip balms or real lip products they don't do that for me are this one the Revlon Kiss and Dr. Brenner's Naked Organic Lip Balm so <clears throat> these have been a savior for me so I do recommend this one plus it's um it's really pretty it's really pretty really girly kind of give you this burst on the lips without having like a lipstick look to it then I got some more conditioner 
and this one's by Matrix, by Lash Volume. And I have been using this set, the shampoo and conditioner, for a few months now, and I have to say it's my favorite, I think, forever. First of all, the smell, the smell is great. It smells so good. It's not overpowering. It's very, very, very fresh. I do like that it has no parabens, no sulfates. I appreciate that. And it is for fine hair. So if you have fine hair, you might really like it, honestly. Um, now, each bottle, like one bottle like this, costs about 18 bucks. So it's quite expensive. But if you're like me and you have fine hair, you don't actually use that much product, most likely. Um, hopefully you don't, because you really don't need to. Um, because fine hair cleans and conditions very quickly. Otherwise, you just weigh your hair down. So I've been using the shampoo and conditioner for, again, at least four months or five months. And it has lasted me that long. I'm running out of the conditioner. <laughs> So I got myself another one, which really do recommend it. And, um, and recently I started thinking more about um, like st styling my hair differently. Most of the time I, I just sleep on my bun and it gives me little curls. But more and more I'm thinking about using flat irons for curls or <clears throat> having a volumizing um, brush for blow dryer. I'm looking into that right now. So I got myself this uh, Shine Milk, Smooth Milk, also by the same Biolage Matrix. And then I got also this Thermal Active Spray, which is a heating styling treatment. So it does have a little sticky feel to it. I did try it out there and um, it did have like a little, definitely some kind of, some kind of Mm, moosey item in it that will basically mm, weigh down your hair a little bit most likely but it also protects from heat which I'm, I'm probably gonna start using more and more and uh, again it styles it like gives it volume as well so I'm excited to try that out again I do enjoy um, this matrix products and the products are very expensive <laughs> very expensive but I've noticed that it, it, it makes a big difference, honestly. I've tried cheap, cheap shampoos before and I don't know, man. Even organic shampoos I've tried, as many as I've tried, it just... Sorry, for my hair, it sucked. This was legit the only, <clears throat> the only one that um, made my hair look really healthy, really nice, really quickly. So, and then I got some small loose stuff. So I got this Maybelline Master um, Blur Stick. I actually used it on my pores today. I don't know if you can see. Probably not. <laughs> it might be a little too close. But I did um, cover up some of my pores right here on my nose and on the corners of my nose where I struggle the most. And it did help for the price that is a like a few bucks, I think it was $7.99 or something. Um, it's it's okay. <laughs> and then I got um, two of my favorite powders. Also by Maybelline Fit Me 100 Translucent. And I get one for my purse and for my makeup table. So that I, I keep each, each one. <laughs> it is my favorite powder. It has been for a while. And um, it seems to fit me <laughs> so well so i keep using it honestly oh so god waterproof mascara <laughs> this voluminous million lashes by l'oreal and this one is um waterproof one the reason why i got it <laughs> is because i've been thinking about um my labor <laughs> and i was thinking i would like to have lashes on <laughs> I don't want to have like eyeliner and eyeshadow. Probably it's just not going to be practical for me because I would like to use shower and probably not going to care, honestly. <laughs> but I would like to have something, you know, for pictures and stuff. So I got myself a waterproof mascara. That's my first one. <laughs> I 
I did use it today too. It doesn't look too bad. It's not my favorite choice, but it's okay. And they also gave me this um, Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner by Maybelline as a gift. And I have to say, I tried it out today. I like the tip. It's quite nice and sharp, but also bendable. So it's a softer tip. And I don't mind it. I tried it out today. And it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good to me. So I'm excited. So also today I got this package. I don't know how they got my <laughs> my private PO box. I believe it's a skincare company that sent me something which I do appreciate. I'm pretty sure they wanted me to probably feature it in on my gentle whispering channel, but it's probably not gonna happen right now. So I wanted to open it on this channel and see what it's like, what it is. So it's, it, has, it is a nice packaging, I have to say. So we'll try it out. So we get a beautiful card. And it says, Maria, I hope you love these as much as I do. Thank you. I hope so too. Then it has a little booklet. And it just talks about their mission statement. Mm, nice. It's, so it's certified organic and handcrafted products. That's pretty cool. Thank you for sending this. Let's check it out. It looks very beautiful, I have to say. It is very beautifully presented. I really like that. Okay. Oh. I get a little mask brush. <laughs> Let's brush you up. It's on the rougher side because again it is more of um, a mask application um, brush. It has a little clay bowl. I'm making this into a SMR video on day, but minus my voice today. Sorry about that. Maybe I'll make a video with that now. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe. Who oh, knows? Honestly, you really never know. So then we get the moisturizer. Oh, it smells great. Oh, that's nice sound. Hold on. <laughs> of course, you can hear it. You see me. It smells great. Oh my gosh. So this is um, rose vetiver. Vetiver. It does really smell amazing, I have to say. Maybe it's time for facial video. It smells very real. Sometimes I feel like some of the fragrances in some of the cosmetics are so overpowering. Because that's not what actually it should smell like. It's too much, you know? So I, I always appreciate when it smells natural and nice and organic. So I'm very excited about this, actually. So many gifts too for free. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So now I'm gonna blind you with light a little bit, <laughs> if you don't mind. So this is a rose hip facial serum. Sweet rosy leaf geranium balances diverse skin conditions, while earthy carrot seed nourishes and regenerates. That sounds great. Get a little bottle.
So then we get um, French rose clay for sensitive to gently active and congested skin conditions. Mm, exfoliating. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. I like that. I have to try it out later. I don't know if I have more time here. Okay. Then we can get rose cleansing milk. Handmade. Mm -hmm. Especially skin with oily and dry areas. That's perfect. That's exactly what I have. Okay, and then this is the tonic hydrosol rose geranium. I love rose geranium, my goodness. For all skin conditions, especially dry oily combination and tin tin a tin skin. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. Maintain soft and smooth skin. Pretty nice sound. <laughs> does feel nice. Definitely leaves the layer. It doesn't smell too strong. Barely doesn't smell at all. So I like it. And the last thing we get is in this pouch. And it is an eye bomb. Wow. That's a pretty cool. Good idea. Wild carrot nourishing eye balm. Balm. I call it balm. <laughs> With immortal. For delicate skin around the eyes. Smooth as brightens, protects. Okay. It has no smell virtually. You can definitely see that it's a little more moisturizing, like a little glisten. Mm. It's quite nice, actually. I'm very, very excited about it. And it's organic as well. I have to say, I wonder what the pricing is. Okay, Evan Huey. This seems to be like it's all full size. They have a very nice website. Skin Bridges. Truth Heels. I like that they use real women, not models, sorry to say. Okay. So let's see. Once again, do remember that it is a um, fully organic item. So then the pricing would be different. So the serum, um, the serum is $34.95. It's not too bad actually. Once again, for organic items, I'm telling you that's <sighs> once you get into organic market, it's uh, everything's actually much more expensive to do because you have to deal with the real real products. So I know by myself that it's really is different and it's worth it honestly okay so eye balm this full size is 2650 oh. just for your reference oh, thank you so much for sending this over to me i really do appreciate it again sorry i didn't um post it on gentle whispering page but it's um i also didn't know what to expect honestly because there wasn't really much of a message with the with the box um, but I do really appreciate it. Um, if I do enjoy your products, I will absolutely feature them in some videos. Maybe not in this format, um, but as a product that I use for the video, for example. And I will um, give you a shout out for sure too. Okay. So I think that's the end of the super long haul. <laughs> 
we kind of combined both commercial products that are very popular and um, well known and some small company um, products as well that seem to be high quality just not as uh, commercial as the other ones so I hope you liked the combination of both of them uh, thank you for watching thank you for listening to my raspy voice that's been for a couple days and trying to get over whatever this little bug thing is but I appreciate you watching and I'll see you soon again bye